Hello everybody, welcome to something different. Today we'll be doing a relative deep clean of the BMW interior. Now most of the video is going to be sped up because it's just cleaning footage. I didn't do any kind of talking during the filming because Honestly, it would have been quite strange. I was in the middle of the street already cleaning with a vacuum. Plus, it would have been a bit awkward, the whole situation. I don't want to vlog in public like a elite YouTuber would. So, the setup is as follows. I am using a Kirby vacuum machine, which is a, a very, very expensive vacuum machine. And that's not a flex, okay? I'm not flexing with the price of a vacuum machine. Uh, it's uh, more, it's mostly like shock at the amount of money this thing costs, but it does a pretty solid job, especially on the BMW's carpet. It cleaned the carpet spectacularly. It's got a plethora of attachments as I've been using in the footage. I'm just switching constantly with different attachments uh, that do different things and funnily enough do actually work. But it wouldn't be a boy if it wasn't slightly scuffed the whole thing. In the beginning of the video I did say this is a somewhat a relative deep clean. Now uh, I, for a true deep clean you need to remove the seats and clean what's underneath them, clean the seats. We don't do any kind of seat cleaning, it's mostly the dashboard, the door cards and the carpet. So I'm obviously using the Kirby for the carpets, but not everything is going to be so elite, so expensive, so exquisite as a $2,000 vacuum. I am using a common household cleaning agent. I'm using Meglio, which I don't know how international that is. It's a general liquid to clean shit in your home, but it actually does quite a good job on cleaning most of the car. So I use that in combination with, in the beginning, clean towels, which slowly but surely stop being so clean after, you know, scrubbing the whole car. Even though I'm using some questionable materials to clean the car, the end result is actually quite fantastic. You will see in the before and after photos, the car looks much, much nicer inside, and it honestly was a magnificent transformation it was much nicer to be inside the vehicle after it was cleaned but this was actually filmed in the middle of summer so uh, it's no longer as clean especially now that it's winter so another deep clean uh, needs to be done pretty soon and when the time comes for another deep clean I will film it again and hopefully that time I will talk whilst doing everything so I don't have to struggle like I am right now to figure out what to say during the video so it's not just a vacuum sound. Now for the best part, the before and after photos. The first few photos are of the difference in the floor and in the carpet and after that it's a general look of uh, how everything looks nicer now, everything is cleaner. The door cards, the door stills, it's just a day and night difference. This is going to be the structure of the video. I'm going to be cleaning a single corner, so say front passenger, rear passenger, and uh, after that I'm going to be showing a before and after. Since I can't possibly fill 10 minutes of talking into the video, I will leave you with some soothing combination of uh, cleaning footage and music. At least I hope I find music that would be soothing and nice to listen to whilst watching me scrub for days. Scrub and scrub and scrub. But every now and then I'm going to pop in and talk about something that's happening on screen, probably. I don't know. Actually, disregard that statement. I know I can just go back and delete it, but I want, I want my train of thought to be uh, present in the video, okay? I'm not going to put on any music, not out of some kind of laziness or something like that. My reason is I actually find it a bit corny and I don't know, like it doesn't fit. I don't like it. I don't like random time-lapse music parts in, in videos. I do actually prefer to just listen to the sped up sound, as ridiculous as that might be to some people, but that's just like my personal opinion. So, again, without further ado, I'm going to leave you with the sound of my scrubbing. God, that's a hell of a statement. Wow. 
we are again at the best part, the before and after photos. So as you can see, quite a noticeable difference from the before and afters on the door and the carpet and the plastic around the door sill, but I didn't do a good job on cleaning the door sill itself. My original OEM baby M Sport package door sills are still left kind of dirty right at the edges. So I uh, I'm going to accept the my I'm going to accept the responsibility for that failure. But this time I'm going to be leaving you guys with the sound of the vacuum. No more scrubbing, mostly vacuum. I'm not the one vacuuming, but that's irrelevant. It's still mostly the sound of vacuuming, which in a more domestic situation it would be quite annoying. Imagine if you just listen, if you're just sitting there listening to hours upon hours of just vacuum sounds. That's not going to be epic, but now no, this is the BMW Deep Clean baby. We're here for that beautiful, beautiful vacuum sound mixed in with scrubbing sounds. It's just spectacular content. I have, I, you know, I'm just, I don't know boys, I'm fucking bringing you guys some absolute top tier spectacular content right here. It's just tons of noise and scrubbing with little detail. <laughs> Again, the before and afters. Now you will see on the rear door cards there was a lot of this the white paint just sprayed on the door card. The before and after on this door card, in my opinion, is the most spectacular. Coincidentally, also the dirtiest door sill. So essentially, the before and afters here are the most clear and obvious ones. Plus, at the last one, you can see the new rims. They look absolutely fantastic. But yes, these are definitely the most noticeable and nicest, nicest looking of all uh, before and after photos. Now, as ridiculous as this might sound, the before and after photos were kind of an afterthought. Not a lot of planning went into this video, actually mostly no planning went into this video. The only planning there was, was the idea of this video and me wanting to clean the interior of the car. So essentially one afternoon after work we decided why don't we just go out and clean the interior of the car. And that's what you're seeing here, I just strapped the GoPro on my head and just went ham with the Meglio. That's why the video has questionable structure and why the before and after photos are not exactly taken from the same angle. They're just kind of, hey, I'm going to take a quick photo and I'm going to continue cleaning as this thing, like, it, it didn't take too long, around probably 40, 50 minutes. But, you know, filming was not at the forefront of my mind. I had other uh, things to worry about, like, how will the cleaning go? Will the Meglio melt my plastics? But that fear is uh, unnecessary as I'm not driving an Audi. <laughs> all in all, I've got mad respect for the people that actually do this type of content where they clean cars. It, it just to make a solid A plus video, you do have to plan ahead. Uh, you know, you gotta place cameras, you gotta all these things, all these variables that you need to set in order to make it a A plus video. Whilst your boy here strapped a GoPro on his head and is just fucking scrubbing. I do believe the end result of the cleaning itself is quite quite good, whilst the video is a solid B minus. The before and afters are again quite satisfactory, but this time the driver door car actually did not clean up too well. It's got a lot of dirt as you can see on it. I guess a lot of people have been kicking it. Maybe I did it. I don't know. But I probably should get some more appropriate tools to clean with next time. I finish off the interior with a nice vacuum of the dashboard using one of the many attachments, like this is Modern Warfare 2 of the vacuum cleaner, and get right deep into the vents. It's, it did a good job getting to the you know tiny spots. I don't know what I'm doing to the gear knob, but we've got the before and after for the floor mats. They're a bit damaged, but again, they look much cleaner. And the final walk around to show how nice it looks. It just genuinely does look spectacular. I sadly did not film the way it looked before in a video format, only photos to complete the ultimate before and after. I am very happy with the end result. It just looks so nice, especially with the natural brown interior. It, it's spectacular. Now, we just need to ignore the missing dashboard trim. <laughs> 
and the leather probably needs a nice clean as well but that will be seen in another video thank you for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next one